Yeah, welcome back viewers and subscribers to another one update with Dance Review TV. And what I want to know for me before me even going out the video is subscribe to the channel. If you're if you're a dancehall fan, you want to hear the breakdown of dancehall music or dancehall topics, topics concerning Jamaica and all of that, then subscribe to the channel. Trust me, I won't be disappointed, or at least I think I won't disappoint you guys. Anyway, let's jump into the topic at hand. So I think it was last week, um Aishana said um Miss Lou clothes refer to miss clo uh miss Lou clothes as tablecloth material or tablecloth clothes or some stuff like that right it's been it's a big thing i sure enough for you guys must have seen it right and um so she has been getting a lot of backlash for it but anyway miss kitty and some face um friday night you know color don't color out and you know through a lot of shades right and so we have aisha and answering back so i'm gonna play the clip let you guys hear and then um i'll discuss i'll continue the discussion all right so listen to the clip by the way again subscribe to the channel girl is here festival full alive they might throw a shade but they still can't shine it's good to see me don't uh, that's cute everybody want to do everybody want to do over that's for our goal She's supposed to wear the bandana. Mm hmm Me said don't take a part of that myself. I'm not really responsible for one bit. Alright, so that's how it's shown. That's just a little clipping. Um uh, you guys can listen to the full thing on YouTube if you want. So that's a little clipping, right? So Aishana is responding to Miss Kitty, right? <laughs> I but I got the same. Aisha has been acting out since lately. Since 2017, it seems like Aisha has been doing way too much, right? And it seems she, she don't really care. I mean, I'm I'm not sure if this is her, like this is who she always wanted to be, or if she's just acting out because you know probably some stress or stuff like that. But I'm not sure. But she's been doing a lot this this year, right? Anyway, she said what she said about Miss Lou. It wasn't specifically like a like what she said was kind of disrespectful not just to miss lou but to the culture of jamaica because i remember when i was in high school and it was jamaica day and you know the girls used to wear their bandana they you know they used to sh do, do like hoodies out of it i know they, they got creative and they did their thing and um it looked good right and and it's sad because um Aisha is not the only one that's out of touch with the jamaican culture a lot of us especially young people like ourselves who want who aren't even used to these traditions anymore, you know, it's just all about the dance hall. We aren't used to the folklore, like what Miss, Miss, people like Miss Lou stand for and stuff like that. But she said what she said, you know, she referred to Miss Lou as um, clothing as dish towel, the bandana stuff. And, you know, she's been getting a lot of backlash. But Miss Kitty went on um, stage, you know, and she did her thing. I think that Miss Kitty did um, way too much. Now, of course, this is not me excusing Aishana. Right, she said what she said, and, and in the video here, she's saying that, yo, she's practically saying that she's unapologetic, unapologetic right? She, she said, she said what she said, and that's it, right? If it's disrespectful, and that's the point. She already said it, and she can't take it back. I mean, she could apologize, but I'm not even sure she wants to do that. But the thing is, she said what she said, and it's it's disrespectful, but that was no reason for Miss Kitty to come at her in such a disrespectful matter, right? Miss Kitty, call the girl duns, and... I mean, she didn't refer to her specifically, no, but she implied that she was speaking to her. And he called her dunce and all of that thing. So, it was, Miss Kitty was doing way too much for somebody that Aishana did not disrespect. It, right? I mean, sure, she disrespect Miss Lou and, you know, she, she not going to get no pass with that, you know, we could call her, you know, we could say, oh, she, 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 she shouldn't say something that stupid and all of that. But for Miss Kitty to come at her so personal and calling her dunce and stuff like that, well, I guess that's what, you know, I you know, I guess, I guess she's so in love with Miss Lou that she couldn't let this disrespect pass and she had to put Aisha on her in her place, you know, let that nigga know that she's dunce and stupid. I, I don't know. I mean, but I think. Miss um, Miss Kitty did way too much in terms of coming at Aisha. Now, anyway, Aisha and I responded back, and as you clearly hear, you know, <laughs> she said that Miss Kitty <laughs> need to fix her body, you know, do good. <laughs> and I have to tell you, I don't know what's wrong with these females and this fakeness, you know, they are just fake it, fake body, fake hair, fake guys. I mean, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be beautiful, you know, but at a, at, at a certain point, you have to realize that 
you are doing too much in order to be uh, to be beautiful or feel beautiful right it's your body of course we can't tell it to stop but i want a lot of you females out there knowing that if you are doing this to impress a guy trust me most of us guys aren't even rushing once you spot it with too much makeup on uh we, we, we ain't really or at least me i'll speak for myself because i don't i know some of these guys personally don't like a guy with a woman wearing too much makeup who is doing too much to stand to look beautiful I like a girl who is beautiful and knows that she's beautiful without and she don't have to do too much right but i'm getting off topic let's get back to the topic yo so i shana was definitely wrong for disrespecting someone as iconic as miss lou like that you know referring to her clothes as dish towel you know and 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 what she said you know it could show that she she she, she had zero regards for who miss lou is or what she represented that's what i got from it but at least it got a conversation started you know for people to go out there especially our young fan base because i know a lot of Ishana fans are young right at least for them we're probably like oh why is she getting this much backlash and then we'll probably do their research and find out who miss lou is but again, I think Miss Kitty went way too far in her defense of Miss Lou. I mean, we could just say, hey, Shana, you shouldn't do that and pay some respect. But to, to go as far as to call her dunce, and she did make some other remarks. But my memory is vague right now, so I don't want to say anything that might be a lie. So, yeah, she, she did say something. And there you have the, again, the clipping. You can roll back the video to listen to it. I Shana saying, yo, she, she, the mature shade and stuff like that. And I call out Miss Kitty. I say, Miss Kitty need to probably find a, a, a better plastic surgeon or whatever surgeon that worked on her body because i mean it seems like it's not it it, it was not done good that, that those are eyeshadows right not mine i mean all i can say is that when miss kitty came on stage in that tight suit thing and some face i recognized her ass it was her ass was really recognizable that's all i'm gonna say on that so i'll see you guys in the next one and i hope you guys do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys later Girl is here, festival full of life. Them are true shade, but them still can't shine. Miss Kitty say me don't uh, that's cute, everybody wanna do. Everybody wanna do over. That's for our goal. She's supposed to wear the bandana. Mm-hmm. Me said don't care but water that myself. I'm not really responsible one bit. Alright, so that's Aishana. That's just a little clipping. Um, uh, you guys can listen to the full thing on YouTube if you want. So that's a little clipping, right? So Aishana is responding to Miss Kitty, right? <laughs> I, I got the same. Aishana has been acting out since lately. Since 2017, it seems like Aishana has been doing way too much. Right, and it seems she, she don't really care. I mean, I'm I'm not sure if this is her, like this is who she always wanted to be, or if she's just acting out because you know I don't know. I mean, but I think Miss um, Miss Kitty did way too much in terms of coming at Aisha. Now, anyway, Aisha and I responded back, and as you clearly hear, you know, <laughs> she said that Miss Kitty <laughs> need to fix her body and do good. <laughs> And I have to tell you, I don't know what's wrong with these females and this fakeness, you know, they are just fake it, fake body, fake hair, fake eyes, I mean, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be beautiful, you know, but at a, at, at a certain point, you have to realize that you are doing too much in order to be, uh, to be beautiful or feel beautiful, right? It's your body, of course, we can't tell it to stop, but I want a lot of you females out there knowing that if you are doing this to impress a guy, trust me, most of us guys aren't even rushing once you spot it with too much makeup on uh we, we we ain't really or at least me i'll speak for myself because i don't i know some of these guys personally don't like a guy with a woman wearing too much makeup who is doing too much to stand to look beautiful I like a girl who is beautiful and knows that she's beautiful without and she don't have to do too much right but i'm getting off topic let's get back to the topic yo so i shana was definitely wrong for this, probably some stress or stuff like that but i'm not sure but She's been doing a lot this this year, right? Anyway, she said what she said about Miss Lou. It wasn't specifically like a like what she said was kind of disrespectful, not just to Miss Lou, but to the culture of Jamaica. Because I remember when I was in high school and it was Jamaica Day, and you know the girls used to wear their bandana. They you know they used to sh do, do like hoodies out of it. I know they they got creative and they did their thing, and um, it looked good, right? And and it's sad because um. Aisha is not the only one that's out of touch with the Jamaican culture. A lot of us, especially young people like ourselves, who aren't 
we aren't even used to these traditions anymore, you know, it's just all about the dance hall, we aren't used to the folklore, like what Miss, Miss, people like Miss Lou stand for and stuff like that, but she said what she said, you know, she referred to Miss Lou, because I'm clothing as dish towel, the bandana stuff, and you know, she's been getting a lot of backlash, but Miss Kitty went on um, stage, you know, and she did her thing, I think that Miss Kitty did um, way too much, now, of course, this is not me, excuse me, yeah, welcome back viewers and subscribers to another one update with Dance Review TV. And what I want to know for me before me even going out of the videos, subscribe to the channel. If you're if you're a dancehall fan, you want to hear the breakdown of dancehall music, or dancehall topics, topics concerning Jamaica and all of that, then subscribe to the channel. Trust me, I won't be disappointed, or at least I think I won't disappoint you guys. Anyway, let's jump into the topic at hand. So I think it was last week, um Aisha and I said um Miss Lou clothes refer to miss clo uh miss lou clothes as tablecloth material or tablecloth clothes or some stuff like that right it's been it's a big thing i sure enough for you guys must have seen it right and um so she has been getting a lot of backlash for it but anyway miss kitty and some face um friday night you know color don't call her out and you know through a lot of shades right and so we have aisha and answering back so i'm gonna play the clip let you guys hear and then um i'll discuss i'll continue the discussion all right so listen to the clip by the way again subscribe to the channel it's in aishana right she said what she said and, and in the video here she's saying that yo she's practically saying that she's unapologetic unapologetic right she, she said she said what she said and that's it right if it's disrespectful and that's the point she already said it and she can't take it back i mean she could apologize but i'm not even sure she wants to do that but the thing is she said what she said and it's it's disrespectful but that was no reason for Miss Kitty to come at her in such a disrespectful matter, right? Miss Kitty called the girl Duns, and I mean, she didn't refer to her specifically, but she implied that she was speaking to her, and he called her Duns and all of that thing. So, it was, Miss Kitty was doing way too much for somebody that Aishana did not disrespect, it, right? I mean, sure, she disrespect Miss Lou, and, you know, she, she not going to get in a that, you know, we could call her, you know, we could say, oh, she, 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 she shouldn't say something that stupid and all of that. But for Miss Kitty to come at her so personal and calling her dunce and stuff like that, well, I guess that's what, you know, you know I guess I guess she's so in love with Miss Lou that she couldn't let this disrespect pass and she had to put Aisha on her in her place, you know, let that girl know that she's dunce and stupid. 